I've been doing Yu-Gi-Oh every week for the past <laughs> two months. I haven't had me be able to catch a break yet. I completely understand how that goes. But yeah, we'll get started here with top 16 in just a moment. Just waiting for uh, Reese Leaves to finish uh, and everybody to just give us time. So once Chris gives us the go ahead on time, Billy and Jordan will start playing. I didn't quite see if they rolled off just yet. Uh, I don't think they did. I think Billy was just playing with dice. Absolutely. Also, Jordan here. I think Jordan has topped every single ARG event. It wouldn't surprise me. I I'd have to I'm double check. I'm pretty sure it, he so. has. Uh, like it's uh, at least four. Uh, here we go. All right. Oh, maybe, uh, maybe they did roll to go. For, so he goes first. Certainly seems like it based on the on the uh, fact that they're already looking at their hands. So. Oh, I think Billy. Yep. Think so Billy's starting out with harpies. Yep. And uh, I think I see a mistake in his hand. It's okay, he's going to go first turn Drake a sec. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, actually, uh, most of the times I would actually go mm -hmm. for uh, the turn one, uh, gosh, what's its name? A Master of Blades against Fire Fist. Yeah, uh, Master of Blades is actually uh, really very Really, their only out them, so. is uh, like Dark Cole, and mm -hmm. it's really hard for them to get over. Yeah. Uh, they also uh, could theori can theoretically go Tiger King if they have another way to get another bear out yep. and just negate the effect and pop the monster. He's probably going to set, if, you go, if he goes for the Drago sack, he's probably setting like three back rows. Yep. Let's yep. talk about four back rows. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, so obviously he didn't have the downside of him touching your deck like you did in that first game last night. Yep, yep, yep. First there it is. Oh, and does he have the Typhoon? Cause it might just be scoop base. It very well could be <laughs> scoop base. <laughs> now, if I'm not mistaken, whenever you change something like that to Pot of Duality, like you bring back a Thunder King or you hit mis use Mistake. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you re still reveal the top three cards, pick one, and it goes to the graveyard, and the rest get shuffled back into your deck. Right. That's always been a ruling that uh, I've been up in the air on as to whether or not that's the official thing or if that's just someone trying to get me to lose cards. <laughs> <laughs> so well, in this I believe that's what they're disputing yeah, at the moment. Too. In this, uh, do they say, oh, I think they told them this just doesn't resolve. I mean, either way, either way, it's fine with me. But uh, in fact, I think Jordan might actually have wanted it to resolve in I case he had maybe like a wolf bark in hand. So yeah, you know, I was gonna say it like send a level three degree for rekindling. Yep. So he got tokens and did Billy attack. I'm assuming it's probably a tw twenty six. Yeah, I would assume the twenty six is there. So, Gyoku this face, or one of the face downs. Gyoku and a dragon. Now, in your deck, do you play uh, response, uh, summon response cards aside from, like, Solemn Warning, like uh, Bottomless? Oh, uh, yeah, yep. I do play Bottomless. Uh, I have Bottomless, Tyrannal, uh, mm -hmm. all, all that stuff. And there's a Fiendish Chain. So, Fiendish Chaining the dragon, so he does not get to set the Tensu from his deck. Which it's 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 crazy how when Fire Fists uh, first started out, Dragon was perceived as a subpar card, yeah. and then now uh, getting the constant plus one advantage off of Dragon, getting those ten suits to make up that battle difference makes a huge difference now. Mm -hmm. so Drago sack targeting the Dragon. I think he discarded Effect Veiler. Uh, it gets off camera a little bit. Yep. Probably Valor because he's still on the field. <laughs> uh, I, I did get a glance at the graveyard, so it was a Valor. Hmm, that is not good. And Billy's other two face downs are locked up. That's really, really bad. It is. So first wanting to run over a token. Uh, I don't know why he, why he necessarily needed to do that without just uh, popping one of the. Well, uh, I I think he's he's what he's end up doing right here is uh yeah. There we go. Okay. That sucks. Double Gyoku so. definitely hurt. Yeah, so he has the targets on the field to send. Yeah. So he can send the Gyokus, but when he detaches, he'll obviously be able to send those back to the deck instead. Yep, he'll just choose the monsters. Then he'll send... He'll he probably send the mistake in the Drago sack. That would be the 
best choice in this situation. I mean, come on, you think he wants? Don't think he wants to send back the dead fiendish chain <laughs> so he can reuse it? Yeah. I mean, that's what I would do. So now he has the one back row to Billy's two locked back rows and a card in hand. Mm -hmm. And Billy does at least still have tokens. He has the tokens. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, do you run Veilers in the deck to take advantage of the tokens for any kind of synchro summoning? Nope. Uh, no Veilers. No okay. no hand traps at all. I'm actually not a giant fan of hand traps right mm -hmm. now. Uh, I haven't used them in uh, quite a few weeks. Understandable. But the only one that I'm really excited for right now, I at least in the side, is because of the popularity of Heratics, is going to be Max C. Right. Oh, he does have a card in hand. So he has two... Mm -hmm in hand, face down. Yep. And just to refresh people who are in the stream, uh, first of all, thank you for 400 viewers already when we're just getting started here today on the top 16 of Alter Reality Games Circuit Series in Nashville, Tennessee. We have Billy Brake against Jordan Winters in uh, the first game of round one of top 16. And uh, right now, Billy is ahead in life points, but right now his field would say otherwise. Yeah, he's so. locked down right now. Last token. I'm sure uh, Billy would just love to get the harpies with a harp with a hunting ground right now. Yeah, so. a hunting ground with a. Ooh, that's a card. Was that not the one that he had locked down? Nope. Okay, that was the new set. Okay. So if uh, his face down, Jordan's face down, isn't anything super relevant that can stop this, he could go mm -hmm. into uh, zero. I was he could he can go into a zero fine and negate both the Gyoku's effect. Yep. Uh, I mean he could use his face downs, which I, I might would. Would that have been what you would I, do I in the situation? I definitely would consider that, uh, unless he's just gonna try to uh, put a Gyoku on top, attack over, and. Uh, Lockdown, or it would be which, crashing at this point because uh, oh, it, it is, yeah. And I don't know if Billy because Cardinal is 1800 normally with 100 boost from Gyoku, so um, I don't know. I probably would have personally gone for the zero fine play as well because yeah. that would have been a lot of attack boost on the zero fine. Yep, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five, five other cards. So that would have put him up to 35, which is pretty massive boss monster for that for the most part. Yeah, and would let both his back rows be live. Uh, yeah, and like I said, Billy hasn't only has only played this deck for this weekend. So he 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 told me before the match started, don't make fun of my misplays too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll consider it. Do you run the Tempest? That's the big question. Oh, I do not run Tempest. I don't run Tempest or Summoner Monk. All right. So he can't forget his search this time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he really can't. yeah, but no. <laughs> I imagine that's the Gyoku that he just uh, played. Yeah. He can't activate it in response, so. Oh, there was a card off to the side I didn't see. Okay, so he uh, did still have that fifth back row then. Yep. So, mistake is up. And the other card was Book of Moon. Mm -hmm. So, you Book of Moon and Chain Mistake, got it. That is the downside to, I think, uh, next time we'll have, or between rounds we'll probably have to raise the camera just a little bit. Maybe that will give us a better f uh, picture of the field. That way we don't miss cards like that, yeah. which kind of changes the plays up a bit, definitely. So. Definitely. And based on the uh, outcome of the field, it was a Book of Moon that was set uh, with Cardinal being set now and Mistake being able to be uh, played on top. And you can just flip the Cardinal and attack. Mm -hmm. So, there's a second. Uh, she's eight, Lance. 18 okay. and Lance. Hmm, okay. So, that's 700 damage. 
I believe, or 600. 600 damage. No, yeah, I was right the first time, 700. <laughs> I'll get it one of these days, guys. And then 2,000. So <laughs> it's, it's in these kind of situations that uh, uh, I actually, uh, Robert Boyajan recently wrote an article on Fire Fists on running magic planters in Fire Fists to take advantage of, you know, the continuous traps. Looking at the Harpy Field right now, it's one of those times where I would <laughs> almost want to run the magic planters in it. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, oh, that's something uh, I might just consider now. Why mm -hmm. not? try running some magical pointers of them. Absolutely. I mean, because you do have the hysteric parties, which you usually don't leave live on the field. You don't leave it attached to your monsters. Yeah, yeah. So it, if it survives, it, it it's going to stay there. It doesn't if your monsters uh, die. Mm -hmm. Only if it dies, your monster dies. So That's stays, correct. So, so uh, I'm mainly thinking, you know, it doesn't, that you don't leave it attached to your monsters for, the, for very long. So unless they MST it right away mm -hmm. or after the monsters hit the field, then... Uh, usually it's just going to be a dead card in the field, so there's no reason for them to get rid of it, and there's not really a way for you to get rid of it other than by popping it with your own harp hunting ground. Yeah. So Billy sets two cards. Uh, I think one of them is a Mirror Force, so he's hoping that the Mirror Force probably doesn't get popped, and he swings in with two or three monsters, and let's see Billy. It's okay, because Jordan's going to rip another gorilla and just uh, pop Billy took 2,000 last turn, so he's at 53, meaning uh, if he could attack with all three monsters, like Cowboy, Cowboy for a game or something. If he no. Absolutely. So yeah. it hits the Mirror Force. Yeah. It's okay. The other one's Mirror Force, too. <laughs> I mean, I very well could be. I didn't see. Yep, couldn't quite uh, see. Billy's that back upset. Right, so. so. That wonderful deck boxes on both sides of the camera oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> if it was defense mode, just in case it is another mirror force. At this point, he does have the opportunity to go for game, though. Yep. And with Billy only having the one card in hand. 36 and 19. Yep. 40. Yep. All that. If all, th all of them were to go through, he can. Yep. Yeah, I believe that's probably what Jordan's talking about right now is debating on the uh, actual merits of going for game at the moment or if he just wants to swing into Mirror Force, which it was. Oh. Second Mirror Force. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a that's something about Billy. He act, got the whole flustered act and mm -hmm. uh, was able to get him into attacking with all the monsters. Totes called it, guys. There's another bear. No. That one's going through. <laughs> is he gonna get the third Gyoku at this point? Or is he gonna get a tanky to get some uh, <laughs> monsters I, yeah, back? Yeah, I definitely go get get a tanky here. Yeah. Uh, tanky for days. Chain mistake. That's almost why I may have gone for the Gyoku at that point instead of the instead of the Tinky, just to make sure it's something that went off. But I think t yeah, I think two of the mistakes are gone. Yep. Oh no, one mistake was gone and one was shuffled back into the deck. That's correct. So still has one more left in there. But Billy does now have something to get rid of to pop that face down monster, and just swing again. I wonder if the other card is like Acres Attack. Because I play one, but uh, after this weekend, I won't be playing Nucleus Attack anymore. <laughs> what, two for twos aren't good anymore? No, not with Harpies. Your monsters are way too important. Absolutely. You're not gaining anything off from them. That's what I was noticing from your match with Kevin last night is uh, in several situations, you were either just waiting for the right monster or were hurting four monsters and needed to get some in your hand. Yep. Uh, deck my deck only plays like 15 monsters or something, so... I mean, I can see Icarus being a nice recovery play for, you know, if you go Chidori and they get something to get over it, then, you know, you just tribute it off to get rid of two. But Chidori is a, a Oh, it is a, light, it is a thunder. Not, uh, yeah, if it was, a, if, if it was mm -hmm. a winged beast, I would definitely play, like, infinite Icarus attacks. Absolutely. I was <laughs> you can Icarus attack zero fine, though, which I've done. Yes. But, uh.
Was it Icarus? Yeah, it was the one. There we go. Yep. <laughs> well, there you go. Ha. He was because Billy Ollie yesterday was saying I hate Icarus decks so much. And I'm like, well, at my local, everyone plays Fire Fist and Constellar. And mm -hmm. It's really good versus those decks. It, it shines mostly in those. So attacking for 15 or 16 with. Uh, Ooh, the comeback rooster. plays. And then attacking for 300 with the uh, Harpy Queen. Unfortunately, Fire Fist has so many cards they can draw that they can just play immediately. Exactly. Like, almost no card is ever dead. Yep. He hasn't even drawn into a, uh, a Rekindling or a Spirit right. or a Wolf Bark. I, never mind, he just revealed the Spirit in his hand. Is so that what it was? It, I, it, he kind of flipped it over, and I believe it was a Spirit. So. Ooh, and a Typhoon. Oh, well. Billy's upset. <laughs> I'm just, I, I know I would certainly be. Because now he gets to add a bear to his hand. Yep. Uh, Synchro. And uh, swap for a Tensu. I don't know if I would swap for the Tensu. I would probably make the safer play. I, it's game if he swaps for a Tensu. Uh, it should be game the other w any uh, another way too. If he oh, just, he's only, if he's he only just, at 2,000. Yeah. yeah, if he just makes the Horse Prince, brings out another uh, Rooster, uh, attacks for, let's see, he would be at 23, 20, 23 or 24 with the Horse Prince. I don't remember if he's at 22 yeah, he's or 22, 23. So tw uh, 23, 23 and 16. so 400 and then uh, 16 with the Rooster for yeah, game. It would be exactly game, yeah. That is, of course, if he actually runs another rooster. <laughs> so that works, too. Can Horse Prince set a fire formation? Uh, I don't really know what happened right there. I'm... Oh, 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 oh. He brought out Leopard, tributed Leopard for Tinsu, oh, okay. and summoned the bear to attack. So that's another way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> With even more attack points. He may only run the one rooster, which could be the reason. So. Oh, okay. Which once again he really only runs one rooster. He m he may only run one rooster. Oh, uh, I don't yeah. know. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure he doesn't. I, uh, I uh, watched him play yesterday. If he plays rekindling, there's no way you only run one rooster. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. And while we're waiting for them to do some side decking, we're gonna go ahead and go to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back after the break. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, thank you for being patient with us on that quick commercial break. We are back, and we're actually about to get started here in game two of the top 16 between, played between Billy Brake and Jordan Winters, Harpy Ladies versus Fire Fists. Jordan was able to take game one with uh, uh, some questionable plays on Billy's behalf, uh, but mm -hmm. uh, also back and forth top deck draws with uh, some Icarus attacks and some uh, Fire Fist spirits for, for the game. Absolutely. 
overall, though, very uh, very good, very exciting game yeah. in the past one. Uh, not a lot of uh, Billy opened you know. really well. Uh, I was it's sort of the fact that Jordan was able to uh, come out of that is very it was impressive to say the least. Absolutely, the uh, Valor on the Draco sack really hurt, letting him keep the monster out there for yep. a turn, able to go into Cardinal uh, and then just return uh, you know, Billy's it set up field essentially. Yep, yep, and that double Gyoko and uh, the two of his. Uh, three uh, last remaining back rows. Absolutely. Fun note, he only plays two Gyoko. <laughs> so oh, yeah. he opened with both and, of uh, them. Last, uh, when he, last week in Indianapolis, his mm -hmm. deck was played three Gyoko. So. Yep, he plays uh, two Gyoko. Let me see if this is the main deck or if this is... Yeah, this is main deck. He plays two Gyoko, three Mystical Space Typhoon, a Forbidden Lance, and two Dust Tornado in the main. Oh, two Dust Tornado in the main. Oh, wow. Yep. Wait, he plays two MS wait, oh, three MSTs. Three, three MSTs, two, MSTs two Tornadoes, a Lance, and two Gyoko in the main deck. And then, of course, the full, uh, or oh, no, just a one one Gorilla, one Dragon, and then, of course, the rank three engine. Well, his main deck is a lot better uh, matchup versus uh, Harpies than uh, Fire Fist, a lot of other Fire Fists. I can't believe he runs two Dust Tornado, too. That's crazy. Absolutely. Interesting side deck tech. Uh, he plays Barrier Statue of the Inferno. Ooh. So that's that's really good against uh, against the Hieratic matchup. The Hieratic matchup, yeah. So we're just gonna see the first t same first turn play here. Draco set four go. Detaches a harpy, gets two tokens. Just set one, set two, set three. So let's see. Uh, in Jordan's side. Ooh, and uh, he's going to pop his own Hysteric Sign with a Draco Sack. That's pretty good. I can dig it. Definitely gets some serious advantage from that. Definitely keeps him in the game longer. That's one card we didn't even see in the last one, yep. which makes me wonder if that was what the face down may have been. Uh, that was Gyokud. Yeah. Which could be why he wasn't, why he maybe have forgotten about Zero Fine, because he's like, if it's Gyokud, then it's Gyokud. I can't really activate it mm -hmm. other than to, you know, get the, the elegant egotist, but. Yeah. Who knows? But anyways, uh, in Jordan's side deck, he does play two Fiendish Chain, two Rivalry, a Soul Drain, two Mistake, a Black Horn of Heaven, a Dark Hole, a Valor, three Dinah, and two Barrier Statues. Uh, going against your Harpies, which of those was, was, would end up hurting the most? Uh, uh, so what do you think he would be siding in against you? Can you point? repeat them real quick? It was Fien two Fiendish Chain, two Rivalry, a Soul Drain, two Mistake, a Black Horn, a Dark Hole, a Valor, three Dinah, and two Barrier Statues. Honestly, the only things really are Dark Hole and Valor. Mm -hmm. uh, it. Everything else is pretty not very good. Absolutely. I mean, the Fiendish Chains, I guess, could do something to like the Exceeds, mon the Exceeds monsters. Yeah, but, but uh, that's other about than all that, that it's could be really used for. bad target for mm -hmm. the uh, the field spell, uh, Harp Hunting Ground. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Rivalry actually may be something as well because uh, that prevents uh, Channeler from bringing out the Dragon. Which obviously isn't going to be a case a situation in this point. Right. Uh, it also prevents you from being able to go into Chidori or any of your rank fours that aren't basically zero fine. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, again, cards like that. Uh, it's just uh, anything like that is really is not that great when you can just search like a, a infinite card that MSTs back rows. Exactly. So. The the field spell makes any of those continuous traps. That's why. That's why honestly, really that's why I love harpies and swing mm -hmm. harpies because you can't side deck a whole lot against them. You have like uh, overworked, which people are siding against Fire Fist, which is mm -hmm. uh, decent against them. And then you have basically like Dust Tornado. What? Oh, that's not good. We just lost camera feed, so <laughs> we will. Uh, we just lost all the camera feed, so we'll be right back here in just a moment, guys, uh, while we figure out what's going on with the match. Uh, give us just a moment. We'll get this fixed and figured out. Someone has probably nicked a cable somewhere. So just bear with us a moment, and we'll uh, get this back on. Uh, unfortunately, these are things that we have to deal with occasionally. Uh, but uh, we'll get it up back here very quickly. We'll make sure everything's updated. We'll keep you guys good and ready. So um, let's see what I was going to say. So uh, one other thing I guess that, that kind of hurts your deck uh, is uh, skill drain to an extent. If you can't get the regular harpy lady to your hand, then your field spell obviously can't pop it. Uh, but I, uh, I feel like that's one of the only ones that actually, uh, you know, one yeah, of those continuous cards that actually hurts your deck. Yeah, uh, skill drain uh, is it can be kind of annoying. Uh, I haven't really been. I actually considered siding skill drain myself, so uh -huh. I actually don't think it's uh, the biggest of deals. And here we go. That's good. We're back. Absolutely, and that's a uh, that's a play. Uh, so. 
Would be n uh, so. Did you get life points for us over there? <laughs> he, uh, Trevor, rock, rocking life points for us. Uh, Vulcan Divine obviously hit the field. Um, there we go. Looks like Billy's still in this, assuming no more Valors come down. Right. Okay, so no life point damage had actually been done. Looks like the Vulcan just came down uh, and just returned some cards to the hand. Oh, they probably got, got rid of the Drago sack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I can dig it. Um, so it looks like... It was a typhoon or a dust tornado on the hunting ground. Billy chained his own typhoon. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, bounce uh, dancer back to hand to summon Chandler, and now Chandler is going for an exceed. Maybe monster. he'll go for zero fine this time. Yeah, uh, maybe. Uh, it'll go up to three six nine twenty nine hundred and uh, negate both Gyoku and the Tensu. Absolutely. And twenty nine. Uh, ooh. ooh. I don't know, Billy should detach first for zero fine. Unless he just wants to gain more attack, I guess. But you would have gotten another Harpy Lady out of it. Yep. I mean, he's got unless, three. Unless there's, oh, I guess, he's got oh, four okay. in there already, so I don't think it mattered so much. Well, but. he could have detached the Harpy Lady number one and brought it back to give everything plus 300. Uh, that would have been a, that would have been a thing, I guess. And uh, that'll definitely just be game. Yeah. <laughs> that is a lot of and, beat uh, down. Everyone at my local now calls Hysteric Party Return from the Different Dimension of Harpies. <laughs> return from the Different Harpy. Yeah. Return from the Is he going to make another zero five yeah. <laughs> and just make this even more crazy? Yep. All right, so Billy Brake taking game two uh, using Jeff Jones' Harpy deck uh, against Jordan Winter's three axis Fire Fist. We're about to break 600 viewers on the stream, so thank you guys very much for tuning in and joining us today. Uh, if you missed it, last night we had the bash in the Nash, uh, Jeff Jones versus Kevin Silva. Jeff Jones did come out on top uh, in a best of five match. Uh, he went, won three out of four games. Uh, and and that, that young Black Horn of Heaven, right? <laughs> Black Horn of Heaven, yep. But definitely when I came into this event, if I was going to play and not judge, I was like, there's no way I'm not siding Black Horn, three Black Horn of Heaven. It's so good versus like a uh, high erratic. Uh, it's a really good card versus Geargia. It's one Absolutely. of the only good cards versus you can side versus Geargia. Because uh, if they resolve, uh, you can't do anything to a gear gear mm -hmm. uh, unless you already have like seven tools or traps done set. Exactly. So uh, it, you can have it set, have them use it on their next turn. They exceed, and you can uh, blackhorn them uh, and, and break even. Uh, blackhorn is really, really good right now on the side. Absolutely. I even consider baiting it, but in the end, I, I just mm -hmm. side it. Uh, I, th I think there's enough rogue matchups out there that uh, siding or maining it probably it could have been dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not, really so. not very good versus the fire fist matchup. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's it's use it's usable, but a lot of times you can get unchainable cards just get picked off by oh excuse me, uh, gorilla. Absolutely. So in addition, uh, I mean, uh, and speaking of the actual match, it is up on, uh, currently on Vexicus 4666's page. He has it up there without audio and sped up. So if you guys want to go catch up on that uh, when we're between round six, uh, top 16 and top 8, uh, feel free to do that. We'll also be doing our best to get interviews. We may actually get uh, Jeff to do his deck profile for his Harpies here real quick, uh, see if he can uh, show us what he's been running, and we'll go from there. One another, we're about to get game two started here. Or game three, not game, game two. Game three, the last one. About to get that started here, and we'll get rocking. I feel so fat today, Jeff. I got an entire box of 50 donut holes for myself. I feel so fat every time I come to an event because all you can do is eat junk food, basically. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> well, right next to Dunkin' Donuts, there is a... Rather nice uh, pizza slash salad place, and they've got some really. They have a really good salad there. Yeah, so. I'd get salad there. I don't really eat pizza, so. All right, only starts off with Tenki, and uh, oh, swaps out with the uh, rooster. Grab another Tenki. Set seven setup for next turn. Yeah. <laughs> And I, like Tenki is one of like my most hated cards now. People at my local, if, you're, if they're listening to us, will probably be laughing. Mm -hmm. When people activate Tenki against me, I am very, I, I get I get upset. I just hate the card so much. Because once you have one, you have all of them basically. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's that is how Fire Fists uh, tended to work. 
I played them back whenever Cos uh, when it was Cosmo Blazer set, and they were, uh, you know, they didn't have Wolf Bark or uh, Rooster or any of these uh, super awesome plays. They were just strictly a stun deck at that point, and that's what I got my uh, first regional top with and managed to actually get to nationals with. Uh, so I love the Fire Fist deck. But, yes, I can definitely see why people would hate Tinky. <laughs> it's one of those things, why couldn't I have gone first and set my MST for that? Right. And then, like, like yeah, everything you can Tinky for is basically infinitely better than everything you can, like, reinforce from the army for. And yeah. Tinky is at three. And you can have cards that search your Tinky. Like, exactly. You can have any card that searches for reinforcing the army, but it's still at one. Yeah. You know? I mean, uh, it actually draws a lot of uh, – com I actually draw a lot of comparisons with it to – uh, ro uh, using Rota for Stratos because uh, that's honestly what it felt like whenever I was doing Bear, but Bear was almost even better than Stratos to an extent. Yeah. Obviously, Stratos could search any hero monster, but Bear can search any Fire Fist monster, technically. Right. Among other things, he can lock down traps, he can search a, <laughs> he can search a double summon for you, he can blow up monsters. It's just crazy. So, uh, did he have the warning? Yep, warning? it was a warning. So uh, that's another card I'm starting to hate. I really hope that card gets banned. A lot, going first with warning puts like your opponent in so, it, it puts you in such a good position. It's really unfair. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I'm really not. A, I really don't like solemn yep. warning as a card anymore. It's really not cool. And mistake followed by Destornado. MST. Followed by mistake. Followed by Dust Tornado. Chain third mistake. <laughs> uh, yeah, well. Sometimes this is uh, how it goes. Absolutely. Uh, do you play any kind of trap stoppers like uh, Trap Stun or Seven Tools? I do play Trap Stun, yes. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, it wouldn't Obviously, in this situation, it wouldn't <laughs> do anything <laughs> yeah, for you. Yeah, I mean, you keep your mistake for one turn, but like it, yeah, after uh, that. One turn could be the turn that matters, but I believe he added a gorilla to his hand at first, so. Yeah. I wonder if Billy has trap stone. He's considering playing it. Let's see. Uh, those who are asking for deck lists, if I'm not mistaken, Jim is editing the document f or fi finishing up edits on the document, so he can post the top 16 deck lists, and those will go up here very shortly. Uh, normally, we have them up before top 16 begins. I'm not sure why we didn't this time. There must have just been a uh, maybe an issue oh, with our technical. WordPress site, but. Uh, either way, that's where we're at. So Billy's down to one card to uh, Jordan's four. Uh, no longer has the tanky. Uh, he typhooned it. Mm -hmm. Still not looking good. Uh, he yeah. honestly needed one of the mistakes to resolve to yeah. be able to stay ahead in this. Now, I mean, obviously, if Jordan summons a monster and runs into uh, Mirror Force right here. Here's a bear. I believe that's 1,600 to Billy, searching for uh, most likely a Tenki, but he could go Gyoku just to lock down that card and leave Billy with only the one card that he draws. Right. Nope, just going to go for the Tenki to set up for next turn, which by no means is a bad play. <laughs> I wonder if, uh, so all he has is a Harpy Dancer in Grave. He has a Harpy Dancer and uh, the I believe he had the one that searches the field spell. The oh yeah. So if he draws, oh man, if he draws a harpy and has like a steric sign piece or steric party piece on, that'd be really freaking good. In fact, I can't quite see. Does he actually have the field spell up? He may yeah, have it in this it area. Got, so. it got, uh, yep, there it is. So. Like I said. Yeah, he does have the field spell. Oh. So there we go. So I, I I knew he had searched for the field spell, but I didn't think it had gotten typhoon. I, to I thought. It, oh, it's right. He's solemn warning. He didn't. He didn't get rid of it. That's correct. So. Now, assuming this does resolve, which for one, he hits the tanky. Uh, let's see, hits the other back row with the dancer. Uh, what would you go into at this point, uh, making an exceed? Um, do you, oh, that's not Except good. it doesn't really matter because things are going to go down. But he does get over the bear, uh, and the bear is one of the important things because I believe all he has left in hand is a gorilla. Well, and now a gorilla can attack over the face down and uh, can. search for uh, tanky. Uh, if it was a gorilla that I saw, it was uh, a wolf bark. That, that's that's yeah. a card. Wolf bark is a card. It was not a gorilla. He searched the bear first turn. Yeah. That was uh, that was me just misseeing the card. <laughs> I 
I think he is that I think he drew a typhoon. Jeff Jones getting text messages while he's on the stream. Yep. Telling someone told me to do commentary. I am doing commentary. He'd be talking. Poor Billy. I feel so bad because at, uh, all the ARG events he's been to, he's gone X2 and gotten 17th and 18th place. And now mm -hmm. he finally got 16th place. And Well, he did get it in Fort Worth. He did, at le he did make it top 16 in Fort Worth. Oh, did so. he? Mm -hmm. Did Chris LeBlanc lose out? Chris LeBlanc out of top 16. With his Hieratics. So that's uh, down at least a bunch of Hieratics out of I Black Rose my opponent for seven cards. Game one. Seven. And I had a blaster and two cards in it. He top decks ten games. <laughs> but it's all right. Getting that third ball. Imagine that. Another person who is a, an avid despiser of tanky now. <laughs> Looks like our other top 16 matches are finishing up here quickly. So we'll get uh, results from those here in just a moment. Let you guys know who's moving on to top eight officially. All right, turns out to attack mode. They'll take out dancers. That was a lot of messages. <laughs> So, Billy down in card advantage significantly now. Not in a good position. The only way I can, uh, he, he starts for Gyo, uh, yeah, he starts for Gyoko. Uh, yeah, it's over, it's, it's over, unless I don't really. Uh, I mean, he can't quite game him here, so if he draws. I, if he, uh, the only card I thought he could draw would be like Hysteric Party, but then it just gets Gyoko'd. Um, uh, Billy Drew Tyson. This it's actually could be the game. He's burned through all the tankies, if I'm not mistaken. Did he just attack for 16? Yep, Billy draws and. No, I, he should have attacked with everything. So. Uh, yeah, I like it. Yep, and Jordan Winters uh, yep. moves on. To top eight. To top. Uh, yeah, top eight. And. That is not Take Jordan Winter sitting there. <laughs> Taking out those harpy ladies. Absolutely. So well, it, pretty good for uh, Billy's first time ever running the deck. Uh, I, I definitely think he should have still got that uh, game one, though, from the not making the zero fine play. Absolutely. But either way, he did perform very well today uh, using a deck that he had never played with, uh, getting all the way to the top 16 with it. So... Very impressive. Uh, we'll go ahead and see if uh, Jeff will go ahead and will give us a deck profile of the Harpy Lady deck that he had been he's been using. Uh, we'll get that on the stream for you guys here in just a moment. Uh, first, though, we are going to go to a uh, quick commercial break.